What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of the reverse flash. Now we want to begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry and placement of our drawing. Let's start at the very top in the center. Let's sketch a line coming down the center of our page, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, we're going to draw another guideline going across from left to right. Start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now we're going to use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top. So from that center point, let's step up, put a mark off the top of our circle. Now I want to take the same distance down towards the bottom and mark off the bottom of our circle. Let's do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking this distance over towards the left, mark that off, and again, taking this distance towards the right. Now we're going to connect each of these points with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. I'm just going to loosely block in our circle, and this doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on our page. Let's go back and just smooth this out. Now with our circle in place, we're going to add another guideline coming down the side. So we'll start with the left side. I'm just going to bring this all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle. Now that we have our circle and guidelines in place, let's start blocking the main facial features. We're going to start by adding a gap in between the eyes. So from the center, let's step over toward the left. I'm just going to draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I'm going to use the bottom of our circle for the top edge of the eyes. So from the side, I'm just going to angle this down and out. Now halfway along this line, just going to curve the eye, coming down and then in towards that line along the bottom. And then we'll round out the bottom of the eye, coming down and just pull that up. Now from this line, we're going to step down, just mark off the tip of the nose. Start with a straight line going across from left to right. Now going back to the center, we're going to sketch a circle going up and then around. Let's add two small half circles along the side for the nostrils. And then from the tip of the nose, we're going to step down, draw another straight line going across the top edge of the mouth. Now from that center point, we're going to angle the mouth going up and out towards the left to right about there. With a straight line. And then do the same thing on the right. And then from the corners of the mouth, angle the mouth coming down and in towards the bottom and curve the bottom edge of the mouth. Let's go back to the side of the nose. We're just going to angle this down and out around the corners of the mouth. Now let's go back to the bottom edge of the mouth. Step down, draw a straight line going across the lower lip. Step down again, just mark off the chin. Now I'm going to go back to the eye line, draw a straight angle line coming down and in towards the jaw on both sides. And then from the jaw, slope this down and in towards the chin. Now let's go back and draw on the eyelid. We're going to start up here, bend this out, and then down towards the side. And then we'll line it up on the right. Now from the outside, we'll step in, curve the eye, coming down, and then just bend that up on the inside. Now from that center point, we're going to leave a small gap, go to the left side, bend this out, and go all the way up towards the top of the head, go to the right side, and do the same thing in the opposite direction. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the mask. In between this line and the top of the nose, I'm just going to bend this out and then down towards the side. Now from here, angle this up and out towards the top. From this point, let's step all the way up, so we come down, and then just bend that in towards the corner of the chin on both sides. Now from the chin, step up, 
So we're going to round this out. So down and then up. Now we're going to add those large ear covers along the side of the head. Let's start from this line. It's going to bend this out, come down, and then in toward the jaw. And do the same thing on the right. From the outside, draw a straight line going all the way up toward the top, toward the point. And then from here, angle is down and then in on top. Let's go back to the jawline. We're just going to slope the neck, coming down and out towards the bottom. Let's connect these two points with a curve, coming down the middle, just underneath the chin, and then back up. And then from these two points, slope the shoulders, coming down and out. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean sketch, we're going to go back and modify the shape and add some more detail. Let's start with the top edge of the mask. I'm just going to clean this up. Just working our way up and around. Also adding a fold. Moving down, add some more detail to the nose. I'm just going to block in the teeth. I'm just going to make the top of the head a little bit bigger. I'm just going to raise this up and then come down the side. Once we're happy with the general shape of our drawing, we'll go back and just darken up our contrast. I'm also adding some more detail. I'm just going to start around the eyes. I'm just going to shade the area around the eyes using the side edge of a pencil. And 
is working our way around the inside of the mask. That's going to add some shadow to the nose. Starting out the bottom and just blending that up. Also leaning the shadow over towards the right side. I'm just going to go back and just loosely block in the edge of the teeth, starting along the bottom, also adding a little bit of a gum line along the top. Just working our way out towards the side. Shade in the neck area, going around the chin. Now let's go back and add some darker shadows, just underneath the chin, going across and just leaning that over towards the right. Now going back and just adding our shadows.
And as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the reverse flash. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.